Every week I spend hours sorting out my children's toys. I invest time in selecting, reorganizing, doing something that is called strewing and giving things away. I do this because I'm aware of the impact that toys have in the brain development of children. High quality toys have, for example, the potential to develop strong concentration skills or exactly the opposite, which is shrink their concentration span. This can lead to dramatic negative outcomes in a child's school career and learning process, also regarding language learning. So stay with me to find out how to help your child develop the building blocks to become a strong lifelong learner. What makes a good toy? What type of toys are good for kids? It's sometimes overwhelming to go into a toy shop these days. There is so much to choose from. Scientific research shows that actually less is more. So I will explain why that is and we'll share with you some tricks to reduce the amount of toys that your children get. I'll also explain the concept of strewing that is a must know for every parent and we'll tell you about three main type of toys that you should be aware of because the use of, the, of some of them develop life skills that are absolutely essential to become, for example, successfully multilingual at a young age. Hi there, it's Andrea here. I'm a multilingual teacher specialized in languages, mother of multilingual children. If you are new here, consider subscribing and joining my mailing list to get a free PDF with an overview of what good toys are out of a pedagogical perspective and more help on how to raise your multilingual children with success. First of all, less is more. Studies show that the fewer toys kids have, the more they focus the more they engage and show greater creativity, interacting with their toys more imaginatively and for a longer period of time. In other words, fewer toys develop their concentration skills. When children have too many toys and they are all over the place, they get easily distracted and overwhelmed or lose interest. Because of the overload, they tend to jump from one toy to another and the toys that are usually gain their attention are the ones that make the most noise, blink in the brightest colors and move nervously. Let me tell you, those type of toys are the worst. They might seem fun, but if used in excess, they mess up your children in ways that you can't even start to imagine, unless you work as a teacher, as me, and have seen the devastating effects that it has with your own eyes. So often these types of bad toys are often electronic, filled with plastic, also bad for the environment, or they can be found in tablets, phones, and screens in general. I'm not saying that every app and every program is bad, but it's necessary to be very, very selective to protect our children's brains. It's funny, sometimes when other children come to our house, they tell to my children, oh, I have many more toys than you have. And I think to myself, exactly. And that, my friend, is on purpose. I invest time every week in only keeping high quality toys around that are relevant to the age of my children. Everything that they don't need anymore goes out to another family. Now let's talk better about the good type of indoor toys. After working almost half of my life with children, I have come to realize that there are mainly two good types of indoor toys. Outdoor toys, that's another story. I might shoot a video about that some other time. So, as I was saying before, toys play a critical role in the development of a child because through play they explore their physical environment, express their emotions, build up their vocabulary. Play is also a really important tool for children's cognitive, social, 
imagination and creativity development. Specific toys are aimed at particular areas of a child's growth. The ideal is to help them develop various skills in a balanced way. That's what at least I try to do with my own children. Now, you might be thinking, what in the world does this have to do with raising multilingual children? Well, a lot. Let's put it like this. The better the children develop these skills at an early age, the better and the easier they are going to be able to learn three, four, five, six languages simultaneously with mind-blowing outcomes. So it makes sense to pay a little attention to this type of toys. Believe me, I see this in the trilingual school that I teach. Kids that have a solid foundation in terms of life skills learn languages amazingly fast and at a high level without problems. So that is why I share this with you. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let's start with what I call open toys. I call this type of toys open because they don't have a right or wrong way of playing. It's basically interesting material that invites the child to engage with it. These toys foster mainly what we call soft skills, so the ones that cannot be learned theoretically but have to be experienced and practiced in order to be improved. Into this category falls creativity, social and emotional skills. So of what toys are we talking here about? Well, things like markers, watercolors, dolls, puppets, animals, cars, balls, bricks, clothes to dress up, a kitchen for example, a market, food, and everything that can be used to play pretend. The open toys don't have to be expensive. They can be also found in nature for free. For example, water, stones, sticks, leaves. Children process and relive what they experience in social interactions through role plays using these kind of materials. They are free to engage creatively however they want. Do you know what has been one of the best presents we have given our children for Christmas? You won't believe it but it's these bandanas. Yeah, plain and simple. They have a nice texture with beautiful colors. My son got five and my daughter got an another five. They love them and use them to play, for example, pirates or as a band-aid when play pretending being a doctor or my daughter likes to decorate her room with them. My son uses them to hide his cars or wrap a present for somebody. Easy, plain and simple and cheap. Brilliant toy for kids. I learned from present play a thing called strewing. The main idea of strewing is to leave material or toys in such a way that it will awaken your children's interest and motivate them to continue playing with the material put in place. For example, I leave toys or material somewhere in the house and it looks like I started playing with it, but I didn't finish. What normally happens is that the children find it and continue playing, sometimes for hours. Strewing is a fantastic way to develop their concentration skills and get them engaged with interesting toys. It fosters their ability to play independently. Also another very basic important skill to be successful later in life. Let's talk about the second type of good indoor toys. I call them closed toys because usually they have a specific way of playing. Children need to stick to some rules for it to work out. These toys are often educational, more intellectual, the cause and effect, trial and error type of toy. 
these toys have a specific way of solving problems and therefore develop mostly the logical thinking skills and their working memory, which are also indispensable skills for learning languages effectively. Toys like card games and board games are super toys because they take care of the cognitive skills but also develop the social and emotional areas when playing with other people. Legos, blocks, magnets, marble runs, train tracks and anything that has to do with building something are fantastic toys as well for balanced development because they support all the skills already mentioned in this video plus the fine motor skills and the hand-eye coordination. The best close toys for the development of fine motor skills which are crucial by the way if you want your child to be good at writing in various languages at some point are the ones that focus on crafts. To wrap up, there are so many toys that are good for your child's development. Having too many toys spread around chaotically can be counterproductive. That has been scientifically proven. What to do? First of all, be very selective. Toys are not just here to be fun, but to help a child develop life skills. And here comes a power tip. If you feel that your children have enough toys, Ask friends and family if they could give your children for their birthday an experience instead of a physical toy. My daughter turned seven this January. Her present was to go to the theater in Zurich to watch Die Kleine Hexe and really she loved it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and watch these other videos for more help and support. Contact me directly if you wish a personal consultation or a coaching.